Aquarius darlings, welcome to my sector of the universe. This is Jess from Capella Wellness here to help you step into your truth and star into your power. For those of you who've never been here before, welcome. Thank you so much for being here for the first time. I'm so glad you're here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for your support. Thank you for liking, for sharing this video so that this message gets out to other people so that I know that my work is being disseminated out to the masses. Anyway, I do appreciate your love, your support, and returning to watch another video of mine. Um, I do want to mention that I am available for personal readings and that if you want to sign up for a Capella membership, you get exclusive access to guided meditations, daily guidance videos, and a whole bunch of other awesome benefits. I'm offering a 14-day free trial for some of my memberships of the lower tier so that you can get a taste of what I offer that I do not put out on YouTube um, to help to better prepare you guys for what's coming down the pike because the collective is going to be going through some major, major, major changes. So it would uh, benefit you if you feel called to sign up for um, a membership. You can cancel at any time. You want to try it out for 40 days and it doesn't work out for you or whatever, that's fine. If you want to keep it, that's fine too. It's very easy to cancel. If you already have a membership and you feel like you want to get more out of it, as I am going to be doing live streams for members only very soon. I'm gonna make a bigger announcement about that later. So if you want to um, not have to be put on a list on my lives and be in a more uh, intimate environment and I can read, uh, I'll pull more cards with those readings as well it would uh, benefit you to sign up for one of the memberships that includes access to my members only live streams, okay? Check out the description box below or go to capellawellness.com for more information on my Capella memberships. You also get free access to my mobile app where you can access all of the exclusive content there and you can chat with me and other people and go check out whatever else is there, all right? I wish you guys a wonderful, wonderful week, a wonderful month. With that being said, Let's get into your reading. Hey there, Aries. Welcome to your reading. How are you? Hopefully you are doing awesome at this time. I send you many blessings and much, much love as I always do. What are we going to do here, Aries? We're going to see what's going on with you at this time, what obstacles you're facing, what lessons you're learning from this situation to help you with your spiritual growth because that is what this is about. We're then going to get guidance from spirit on how to best navigate these energies, what your wellness message is, and lastly, what's going on with, okay, with uh, love and relationships for you. <clears throat> Alrighty, what's going on with Aries, Spirit Guides, Angels, Galactic Family, Pleading, Syrians, please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Oh, wow. Okay, Aries. We have the King of Cups, we have the Two of Swords, the Tower, <laughs> the Eight of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles. Alrighty, bottom of the deck, the overall is the Five of Cups, okay? Remember to take what resonates, leave what doesn't for somebody else who's watching this. Keep your unhealthy ego at the door and make sure you're honest with yourself and your situation. So for some of you, you've been pretty disappointed. You've been trying to do things and things haven't been working out. Nothing seems to be working. You got to find the silver lining in this because everything does happen for a reason. And even though things don't necessarily work out, that's because it could be not for our highest good. It's just not the right timing or like God has something even better for us. All right. There's no need to be crying over spilt milk. Uh, there's like regret here, uh, sorrowfulness and, you know, like loss so you feel like you've lost something, but uh, usually when you lose something, you gain something even better, all right? Sometimes we need to lose things to gain, you know, something that's even more worthwhile, right? That's, you're making, releasing the old so that the new can come in. So 
with this energy here, uh, whatever loss you've had, whatever you're grieving about, you know, uh, allow yourself to go through that process, but don't stay in it for too long because then that can fall into depression because this can, this is like a depression card as well. All right. So you have to release that emotional baggage and move forward. There's also this energy of forgiveness. All right. So this is forgiving yourself and forgiving other people. Some of you may be really disappointed by not doing something or you regret not doing something. You regret doing something. Um, you know what? Life happens. This is the shit happens card, right? We all make mistakes. It's okay. We're human. But look, there are two cups out up there. All right. You still have blessings behind you. It's not an all is lost type of situation, Aries. So understand that whatever is going on, that there is a light. There's the beacon right there. There is a light at the, uh, there's a silver lining, okay, to everything. Um, so let go of whatever the past, whatever, whatever you're hanging on to the past about, let that go because it's causing emotional baggage for some of you. Um, you forgive and you move on. Forgiveness frees you of your karma. It her, it heals the heart chakra. You don't have that weighing around you because when you have that, you have the emotional baggage. It makes you feel low. And then too much of that can lead to anger, resentment, and bitterness. And then that's really dark energy. And you're going to attract more of that dark stuff. All right? So make sure that you don't have this energy have you fall into an abyss. But uh, things will start to look up, uh, up for you when you start to uh, release this emotional baggage and you, you forgive yourself for whatever it is and then you forgive other people and you just let it go, okay? You, you've got to let go of that stuff because holding on to grudges, holding on to things like that, it doesn't do you any good emotionally, physically, mentally. People who stay stuck in that, they become bittered instead of becoming better from the situation. Because, yeah, like I said, shit's going to happen. People make mistakes. We make mistakes too, guys. We're not perfect. And nobody else is. We're all human beings. But the bigger thing here is that we learn from that stuff. So you may be dealing with a water sign. Kids are Scorpio Pisces. Doesn't have to be, though. Or Earth. Or they have both in their chart. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. <coughs> What's interesting is the King of Cups... And the Queen of Pentacles are bookending the five cards, all right, with a tower in the middle of it. So, all right, I'm getting a story here, and this is not going to resonate with everybody, okay? So what I'm feeling from this is either you or your person, take it how it applies to your situation. There is somebody here. Somebody has been wanting to move to the Queen of Pentacles, all right? Someone has a lot of love for this queen here. And it's very, very, very profound. This King of Cups has had this love for this Queen of Pentacles for a very long time. But she kind of, he kind of, he or she doubted the Queen of Pentacles. Remember, this is energy. Don't look at gender for this. He doubted her for a bit because she thought at one point that she was vain that she was not really a nice, warm-hearted, kind person, that she was giving in order to receive, that's not who this person is. And apparently, that could very well be why this King of Cups is, is disappointed in himself for assuming who she was. He assumed that she was this instead of this. Someone who loves to give because she has a kind heart. That she knows that Giving to others is also receiving. That she wants people to have, you know, uh, not have without type of thing. To uplift people, that type of stuff. So this King of Cups was like, he kept it in though. Because he was afraid to move towards her because of that false notion of who he thought she was. And it's like, he's had this love for her all this time and it's he's sitting there like i gotta do something with this cup i can't have this to myself so what i'm also getting is that this person had to overcome this regret and shame 
because he thought he lost his queen of pentacles. He thought he lost her forever. But then he started to realize that he, his intuition knew that she was the divine queen of pentacles, not the distorted, okay? Not the shadow side of her. And he's regretful. He feels pretty bad about it that he didn't listen to his intuition in the beginning. That he didn't trust his feelings for the Queen of Pentacles. And he's like, you know what? I can't, I can't go back to the past anymore. What's done is done. I can't cry about it. I can't sulk about it. I can't sit here wallowing in my sorrows and, and thinking that I've missed out on opportunity. Yes, I had opportunity to express my emotions, but I can't, I can't beat myself up for it. What's done is done. I made a mistake. What happened, happened. My, my perception of her or him before was I, I made myself fall into an illusion. All right. Again, with the, the two of swords after this, it was like overthinking or second guessing. Like I, I, I mistrusting the intuition. This is not trusting intuition, right? It's being all up in the head, trying to find the logical reason as to why the Queen of Pentacles was this amazing person. All right, there's got to be some ulterior motive, but there was there's no ulterior motive with a, a true Queen of Pentacles. All right, but this this King of Cups had a very big complex with that, and it really wreaked havoc on his emotions. Okay, this person also had a very hard time with expressing how they feel, not being uh, wearing their heart on their sleeves because of some childhood trauma. Um, they had a lot of losses in their life. What I'm getting is that there was abandonment. Okay, because this is abandonment issues. This person was abandoned quite a bit or they literally lost someone, like somebody died in their childhood or in their life. And every time they loved somebody and they lost them, whether it was through physical death or not, it really took a toll on this person. You may be dealing with a Pisces. Pisces people are the one sign of that zodiac sign where they have a very hard time with healing through trauma like that. You can go look it up. Okay, um, and their emotions can be all over the place because they rule 12th house and 12th house is unbounded stuff, right? So they have a hard time trying to confine those emotions, let alone deal with them when they go through stuff like that. So this person had to do a lot of mastering. They had to understand that love heals all wounds, that time heals all wounds, that through pain and suffering comes great wisdom. And, you know, to allow himself to feel to feel through the grieving process, to feel through the emotions, because maybe with all the losses and stuff, they didn't give time, they didn't give themselves time to grieve. They didn't give themselves time to heal. And it got pent up, and it got pent up, and it got pent up, and they blocked themselves because they ended up turning away and becoming emotionally numb, withdrawing from love, withdrawing from people who give that type of love that the Queen of Pentacles gives, that stuff like that. Because they didn't want to get hurt again. They didn't want to go through that loss, that abandonment, that grief again because of what was done before. So now this King of Pentacles is like, you know what? I got to get over this hump with, you know, not being able to make a decision. Do I want to run that risk? Do I want to go really express it and, and run that risk of maybe losing the Queen of Pentacles? That type of thing. But this, his intuition is telling you that's not going to happen. You have to be able to express this because you cannot keep it in anymore. This King of Pentacles has loved the Queen of Pentacles for a very long time. And he's like, I can't keep this in. I can't let my thoughts get in the way and keep me from making that decision. This could also be this, this King of Cups has been a little bit afraid to express his emotions because of how profound they are and because he thinks there's somebody else in the picture. But it looks like, and maybe this might be you, Aries, what do you really feel in your heart of hearts? Do you feel like they're the queen of pentacles as somebody else in the picture or not? Be very careful with your hearing outside of yourself, hearing the outside world, because remember, when you look at tarot, take what resonates, leave what doesn't, but you had to the intuitive exercise too. What is your intuition telling you? It's the same thing for the king of cups. What is the intuition? What is your, intu what is, This is towards the King of Cups, because there may be a cross watcher here, whatever. For the King of Cups, what is your intuition telling you? If your intuition tells you that there's no competition, that there's no other person in the picture, then there's not.
trust your gut. You've already mastered your intuition, so you need to really, really trust in what you're being told. But it seems like this King of Cups is starting to get ready to like fight for who he wants if there happens to be competition, if there's somebody there. Because this King of Cups loves like no other. He's the most loving, most warm, most compassionate, most forgiving of all the kings. He knows that with love, again, comes pain, uh, through pain and suffering comes healing. And that healing comes from that love for himself and his love for other people. And it's unconditional love. So he's starting to realize nobody is going to love this queen of pentacles more than me. So if I do need to fight somebody for it, then I will do it. Because the love that he feels for her is a love he's never comprehended before and he's never experienced. So it looks like with this King of Cups being in this like indecisive mode, refusing to face reality, refusing to face, you know, like I have these feelings, I got to say something about it. Um, obstacles with the throat chakra. Again, he has obstacles with throat chakra with expressing how he feels. And he was trying to think of a way and how to express it, but it looks like the uh, divine has come in or is going to come in and say, you know what? I'm going to break this down. I'm now interfering because you're getting too caught up in your head. Because again, look at the progression of these cards. You keep looking at this queen of pentacles. You want this queen of pentacles. You can't let what happened in the past affect your future. You can't let what happened with this five of cups energy, let it go, right? Release emotional baggage. Yes, you're disappointed because you didn't express before. Yes, you treated the queen of pentacles in a way that you probably shouldn't have treated her in, but we all do silly things. You know, the queen of pentacles has made mistakes too in her life. And he's starting to realize she's not this. She's not this vain individual who's trying to get, to be nice in order to get something um, from that person or to be nice and generous and nurturing to end up um, catching you in a trap. I'm hearing no strings attached now. Okay. Somebody got that message. I think Aquarius got that message. So about being caught in the net, I'm going to get caught. I have a feeling this Queen of Pentacles has some material mortals. Nope. And that was what was getting the King of Cups hung up. And now God's like, I'm coming in. And Aquarius did get a tower card too, now that I think about it. Yeah, they did. They also got five cards, I believe. So this is interesting. So if you haven't watched Aquarius's reading, watch it. I recommend that you watch it. So now divine intervention comes in. He goes, I'm getting you out of this stuck energy because you can't make a decision. Your intuition knows what to do, King of Cups, and I'm coming in to do it for you. It's like you're at an impasse. It's like, you know, a stalemate. There's a stalemate between you and the Queen of Pentacles, right? Because it's between you and the Queen of Pentacles. And God's like, I'm ending this. And I think Aquarius got the Two of Swords too. They also got Queen of Pentacles. This is interesting. And now God's like, I'm coming in shock and awe. Or this King of Cups suddenly changed his mind. Like I said, I don't care if there's somebody there or not. I can't hold my feelings for the queen of pentacles any longer i need to do something and god made a shocking revelation here maybe god revealed something huge to them or maybe even the queen of pentacles somehow told the king of cups in some way shape or form something that was confirming his intuition okay maybe and now this whole thing is coming down it's like sudden change of events that was caused by god and now this king of cups is like god is like okay king of cups i'm knocking you out of place here you're going down the wrong path or i'm getting you out of this two of swords energy i need you to make a decision i'm revealing something to you that is going to help confirm your intuition again and to get you moving so now this king of cups is like okay I got to leave the past behind again, because this is what was getting the King of Cups caught up. And remember, it could be you. 
I need to get away from this. I need to let bygones be bygones. I need to leave the past in the past. What's done is done. Do not stay in the past. Nobody should be staying in the past because that is not where your blessings are. Okay. If you can't move on from that, don't expect miracles to happen in your life. You will get caught up in these low vibrational energies, this funk that you'll never be able to get out of because you can't move away from the past. Yes, it wasn't pleasant. Yes, things happened in the way that you didn't expect. Yes, things didn't go the way that you hoped for. But it was because it was for a reason. God was trying to get to show you that there's something better. This is the there's something better card. So now God's pushing this king of cups. Okay. There is something better. I got to leave the past behind. I'm not emotionally fulfilled, right? Even though the see this kid, look at this king of cups, face. He's a king now, but he's missing his queen. He can't love the queen from afar and just live life like that because he wants her in his life. It's like he feels warm when she is around or even if she's not around, he feels the warmth of her energies. And he loves how he feels when she is there or he is there. Take it how it resonates. I'm going to say she because there's a female here. But he can't just love her for afar because he love her from afar because he's like, what good does that do me? What good does that do her? There's love being exchanged between these two people in the 5D. But he's like with the earth energy, physical. This king of cups needs physical touch. That's why I'm thinking this. if it's a Pisces, it's like a Taurus moon. Or this person has like strong Taurus energy where they need physical touch. Okay. He feels the emotion, but he, inside... But he needs the physical aspect of her there. That's what he's missing. That's what he's missing. And he's missing her a whole lot. And again, but he misses, he feels the energy from her. It's beautiful. But he's like, it's not enough. I need her physically here. I miss her too much. I mean, I can't love her from afar forever because that's not going to do me any good. He's missing the physical touch from this Queen of Pentacles, the earth side of this, the, the physical aspect of this. So now he's like, God's coming in. I know, King of Cups, I know. I'm, I'm changing this up for you. I'm shaking things up. You need to just walk away. Don't get caught up on what happened between you and the Queen of Pentacles. You know there's something better. You, Even though you have that much love for her, you miss her too much and you know you need her to be in your presence. Physically. Not just energetically. And the King knows, yeah, there's something better. I have to leave the past behind. Because this king is not emotionally fulfilled because she is not physically there. It's like he needs to see her. He may be missing her so much where he keeps going to her, looking at her pictures, text messages, things like that. And when he looks at her pictures or reads her text messages and he feels that love again, right? But it's like it's just not the same because he wants to look at her. He doesn't want things to get in the way of that. He's looking right at her. He wants to look at her in the physical. He wants her to be literally there. And now he's like, I'm walking away. I'm not letting this past get me back. I, I'm not fulfilled fully without her physical touch, without her physical presence. The intuition keeps telling him, look, let the past behind you. Yes, you made mistakes. Yes, there are regrets. There's shame here. But there's forgiveness. Forgive yourself for that, King of Cups. Because there was stuff that I said that you went through that caused you to hold all this emotion in. 
because of the trauma. And you have every right to take as long as you want to heal from that. Because that is not an easy thing to heal. With all the pain and suffering that you've been through, that takes a lot of time to heal yourself. So don't beat yourself up about it. And you're realizing, yeah, I can't do that anymore. I need to walk away from this energy. What's done is done. Mistakes were made, but you've learned and you've mastered a lot of things. You know what love is. It's like that foreigner song. The Queen of Pentacles showed you what love was. Unconditional love. And you learned that from yourself and it would help you heal. And you let everything that, that, that happened in your life. Yes, it was, it was difficult. But you overcame this. You've mastered your emotions. You no longer know, you don't no longer want to be um, afraid of expressing them. You no longer don't want to feel how you feel. You became so emotionally numb that it really, really wreaked havoc on your life. It may have very well led to a very serious drinking problem. Hence this. Someone who tried to drink their sorrows away, to, to drink their worries away, and it didn't do you any good. Again, five of cups. Yeah, there's drinking there. Someone got so depressed that they were drinking their lives away. But then someone started to really, King of Cups realized, I can't do that. And what made it worse was when the Queen of Pentacles walked away from the King of Cups. That really made him go really drink and really fall into an abyss. This person could have very well fall into a very deep depression when the Queen of Pentacles walked away. So now there's this energy where God's like, nope, I'm not having you just be afraid to make that decision. You know that you want her in your life and I'm coming in to change that. But the, the King of Cups also had a sudden revelation about something or God revealed something to them. And now King of Cups is like, there's my something better. I need to trust what my intuition is telling me. I need to let this past go. I can't stay stuck in here. This life that I'm living right now, while I am a king here ruling my kingdom and things are fine and dandy and stuff, there's still something missing and it's the queen of pentacles in the physical. So now he's walking towards, he's walking away from the past, walking away from that unfulfilling life, letting go and letting God because now he's starting to realize that he's worthy of this Queen of Pentacles. He put in a lot of hard work with healing his heart, with also uh, overcoming addictions, or especially if it's depression or mental illness or drinking or whatever, some substance abuse perhaps. This person got right and started to do a lot of healing. A lot of healing. Taking better care of themselves, self-nurturing, self-care, self-love, self-worth, all of that stuff. Because this person felt that they were not worthy of this Queen of Pentacles for a long time. Because also at first he thought that he was, she was this. That was she, she was not a real Queen of Pentacles when she was the whole time. Yeah, this Queen of Pentacles did, you know, make a few mistakes herself, but... Both of them learn from each other with this connection. But now this King of Cups is realizing, I am deserving of this. I am deserving of true love. I am deserving of luxurious things, of beauty. Of This was also the King of Cups def redefining what beauty was, is. Looking at people differently. Not just looking at people based off their appearance. The King of Cups learned how to look through the heart. And look at the, the hearts of others. And to look at the divinity within her and within other people. And within himself. So now he has a lot more confidence. He knows what is valuable now in life. He knows what is valuable in other people. And she doesn't for settle. She doesn't settle for second best. She knows her worth. She has very high values. And she doesn't sell for second best. And the King of Cups knows that. 
the King of Cups is also trying to understand that he's deserving of this. That again, whatever happened in the past needs to be let go. So that was a very interesting story there. <laughs> so yeah, it looks like this King of Cups is is going to get ready to, there's something better, move towards the Queen of Pentacles. Well, I guess I was right because the Six of Swords is there. Moving away from the sadness. I can't miss her anymore. I can't be in this anymore. I need to let this go. It looks like Either you're being encouraged to do this or your person's being encouraged to do this now or they're already on their way. They're finding more peace now. More tranquility in their life. They want to resolve this conflict between him and the Queen of Pentacles. They want serious commitment. Marriage even. And Ten of Pentacles. Having it all. The long-term marriage, building a family legacy, having a family with the Queen of Pentacles. There's the Wheel of Fortune. <clears throat> the king knows that things are happening beyond his control. He cannot really control fully the feelings he has for the Queen of Pentacles, <coughs> nor can he deny them. And now there's a sudden turn of events. The king realized he can't control everything. He's just got to go with the flow and just allow himself to feel what he feels. That be, the, the, the love he has for his queen, the life that they have together, it's destined. It's faded. Something faded is about to happen between the two. Oh my God. Four of Wands. <laughs> the wheel's moving in an upward direction because something happened. There's a, there's a sudden shift that happened. And now this wheel is is propelling this King of Cups to kind of return to return, and to um, to have union, harmonious union with the Queen of Pentacles. This could also be some sort of trip or travel or something. Maybe going to an island, maybe it's Hawaii or some island like Bora Bora with a, with a volcano or something like that. <clears throat> I don't know if Bora, but does Bora Bora have volcanoes? I don't know. You have to excuse me. I know I know Hawaii does. But um, there's a sudden change. The King of Cups is realizing he can't control everything. But he knows he wants a happy family. He wants to move in with the Queen. He wants to get engaged, get married, all that stuff. But he also wants to take time to sit with her and to discuss things and to kind of like It's like reigniting that flame, lighting up that spark again between the two of them, and just like enjoying each other. Huh. Interesting. It's like freaking story time over here. Alrighty, let's see what the obstacle is. <laughs> what is the obstacle in this situation? Spirit guides, angels, galactic family, playing Syrians. Thank you. Ooh, 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 ooh. <clears throat> the confidence. The courage, the fearlessness, the obstacle has been to take action, right? So I said, this guy was getting hung up because of the competition, because of afraid of the past, of the coming back or whatever. There's a divine intervention with the tower, but it's kind of like he was afraid to just do it, to go after it, to take the risk. Either this king of cups is still hung up on this, or this is a past obstacle. So take it how it resonates. Now, if you don't really fully know, then don't worry about that. But I'm getting that it could be a current obstacle still for the King of Cups, or it was. But I'm getting for some of you that it was a past obstacle. That he needed to just do it to take the risk and not worry about Five of Cups, not worry about being disappointed not worrying about the past, right? I'm saying that because the tower is there. Because that's what's going on now, in a sense. And I said the obstacle or the challenge 
So it looks like the divine is already coming in to break him out of this energy or break him out of this stalemate of him not taking action, right? It's like he's right there. I need to make a choice. I know I need to make this, but I've got this fear. I know I need to, do, to decide, but I'm afraid to decide because of the lack of confidence. Do I take this risk or not? But I'm getting that this King of Cups is going to take that risk because the other side of this, he's overcoming that obstacle. He's overcoming the challenge. And the Two of Swords is about obstacles. So he's like, I can't be in this energy anymore. Hence the Eight of Cups. I need to have my Queen of Pentacles in the physical. I need, I feel it energetically, but I need the physical aspect of this. There could very well be strong Taurus in this person's chart. And we do have Taurus energy with that Queen of Pentacles, okay? So this person's like, I got to get over this hump. Again, it's the confidence. It's the paralyzing fear. If I take this risk, is it going to be all for naught? Is this going to be a horrible situation? Is this doom and gloom? I'm stuck. This confidence thing has been keeping this person stuck. This is lack of confidence. This is doubting your intuition. Take the blindfold off. That's why I said with the King of Cups, he had to trust his intuition here. Not be all up in his head, not have all these negative thoughts and saying, what if? What if I make this decision? What if I take that risk and it doesn't work out? What if, what if this happens? What if that doesn't happen? What if all the hard work I put into this just goes down the toilet? Stuff like this. This person had a very overactive mind or is still kind of going through this. Hence, I said before, a mental illness or something or, or being bipolar. But, and there's nothing wrong with that. Obviously not, okay? It's a very serious thing. And we have to have compassion for people who experienced stuff like that. But this person's obstacle was just like afraid to make that decision because of the lack of confidence, doubting, thinking too many things instead of trusting the heart space. And being afraid of what might happen when it really isn't going to happen. So this person really either still needs to get over this or has gotten over this. Letting go of those limiting beliefs. Say it's up to you, King of Cups. You got to find that great mental strength here and just say, you know, I'm going to do this. I'm not going to let my mind and my doubt, my lack of self-confidence get the best of me. I got to take my power back. I mean, look at the energy of this guy. Look at his face. He's ready for battle. He's ready for war. He's like, you know what? This is risky. But if I really want my queen of pentacles, I'm going to do something about it. I can't just sit here and just love her from the other side of the world or the other side of the United States or whatever the hell that this person is. I, and this is literally traveling too. The, the knight of wands does go after uh, something or someone and could literally just travel to that thing. This could even be moving, right? moving towards the queen of pentacles this is having the cojones to do it and not getting all up in the head with the what ifs the, the crisis crisis mode oh my god i can't i can't i can't i can't i don't think it's going to work out how do you know it's not going to work out if you don't take the risk god supports those who take those risks and if you know in your heart of hearts that nothing is going to go wrong you know how this queen of pentacles feels for you then why not take the risk why not take action and there is something about somebody just showing up at the queen of pentacles house perhaps it's not for everybody and just saying hey how's it going let's go somewhere let's go have a talk this could even be maybe the King of Cups is going to offer the Queen of Pentacles uh, like to go on a romantic trip. And I, we did see the Four of Wands. I said going somewhere. Could be an island. There's volcanoes there, the beach. Just wanting to sit with her and, and have a, enjoy the time and just make new memories instead of getting caught up in the past because the past was already done. It happened and let it go. Both of you were supposed to learn from this. 
And now this Knight of Cups is like, you know what? Why don't I just go offer this to the Queen? Why don't we just go on this trip and talk about things and just enjoy ourselves and just sit there and not have anything to talk about at all at times and enjoy each other's company. Again, see with that Four of Wands, I don't know where it went, but remember when I talked about the physical touch? If you, there it is. Thank you, Spirit. Physical touch right there. There's something about like holding the Queen of Pentacles or something. You're just sitting there, not talking and enjoying the moonlight, enjoying the ocean view, whatever this is. Physical touch, you see. I need the Queen of Pentacles there. I need to hold the Queen of Pentacles. I need the physical Queen of Pentacles in, in, in my life, right? And this, this king wants this to be indefinite. That's why this king wants to get engaged. They want to move. He wants to move in with her so he can see her all the time. Wake up. The first thing, okay, I'm getting from this king of cups. The first thing he sees is the queen of pentacles. And then she's going to be the last thing that he sees before he goes to sleep. It's very romantic, isn't it? This is romance right here. This king of cups is a super romantic person. Very creative too. So this is what the king of cups ultimately wants. But he has to, he has to take courage, have courage and take that risk. He can't be up in his head anymore. It's not going to do him any good either. He's got to take his power back and let go of that paralyzing fear of just jumping in and doing it. And to let go of those negative thoughts, self entrapment. You are not stuck. There is a way out. The way out is just taking the risk and going after what it is that you want. Take action. You're going to feel so much better when you just get over that hump. What is the lesson here? The world card. Stagnation, stalling, Delay tactics, causing delays. Now, what's interesting here, because this does talk about travel, there may literally be for somebody here something with travel delays. And I said, it was interesting, I said, can't love the queen from the other side of the world? Take it out, it resonates. Maybe you and your person, you live in different parts of the world. Or the King of Cups wants to show you the world, okay? It's like freaking Aladdin. You're going to go on a magic carpet ride and go flying through Agrabah. And, <laughs> and you're going to have some fun, okay? <laughs> I mean, the Four of Wands, there's no magic carpet. But there is a scene that looks like that where Jasmine's head is on um, Aladdin's shoulder, right? At some part through the magic carpet, right? Even at the end where they're in China, this is very interesting. Maybe there's something with the Aladdin movie with this for somebody. They're sitting at the top of that temple or whatever, watching the fireworks, right? And she puts her head on his shoulder and he's like, he's in his bliss, right? That's kind of like what this King of Cups wants. He wants to take the Queen of Pentacles on a magic carpet ride and to take it for what it is, guys. But there, there could be between you and a person, you guys are in different parts of the world or the King of Cups wants to show you the world. That's why there's something about a romantic trip here. There could very well be travel between the two of you just to another part of the world for you guys to kind of like escape in a sense, but like to spend time with each other and just like recreate or, or create new memories, as I was saying. So, but the chat, the a lesson here is like when you want something, you can't just hesitate and overthink it. You've got to take action because you do not know what's going to happen unless you do something about it. All right. This is like the, here's a major arcana again, wanting things to end, but the universe is like, Hey, so-and-so King of Cups, you want to, you want to start a new chapter of your life. You're going to have to close the old one first. But understanding that the life that you have right now, it's okay to move on to the next thing because you know there's something better. You know that there's a better life with the Queen of Pentacles, so why not go after that? You have nothing to lose, period. And you know you don't. 
because you know there's something missing when the Queen of Pentacles is not around. You've been disappointed with a lot of the things that's gone on in the world. You've been disappointed in a lot of things that's gone on in your journey. But that's okay. Because you learned from that. There's mastery here. We only have a king and a queen. And a knight. We have court cards here. There is a leveling up of some sort. So whatever disappointments that you have experienced, you learned a great deal from those disappointments, right? It was getting you to see things in a different light. So what Spirit is saying, it's time to end these cycles of stagnation, of not taking action and not going after what you want, of staying complacent, of you worrying and worrying and worrying and freaking out and, and staying stuck because you're afraid of what might happen or what might not happen. You know that your thoughts create reality. So if you're thinking doom and gloom, then that's what's going to manifest. If you're thinking highly abundant, positive thoughts, that's what's going to manifest. You have a tendency, some of you, to not finish things. It's a lack of completion. And you can't take shortcuts either. You've got to take the long, hard road. But you are on the verge of closing out this chapter of your life. And you're going to begin a new one with the Queen of Pentacles. Because you know you will feel a lot more fulfilled with her being around and being in her life like on a daily basis. You've accomplished quite a bit. But now... It's time to move to the next phase of your life. And that life includes the Queen of Pentacles. Again, the whole new world thing. It's right there. You will have a whole new world, a whole new life for you and me. Again, the Aladdin thing is coming up. But you just have to take action. That's it. You got to go after what you what it is you want without fear. You already know who you want, why you want them, and what you want with them, like the life that you want. You've been envisioning this. You've been planning this. You feel that you could have this amazing world, new journey with that Queen of Pentacles. But the thing is also what's probably causing you to stall is because you think that the Queen of Pentacles is the Queen of Swords. And I mean the Queen of Swords in the reverse, the shadow side of her, the cold hearted bitch, the one that has no emotions, the one who goes around chopping your heads off, the one who doesn't forgive, who has no compassion, who has no mercy, who, who, who doesn't take, uh, what's it called? It, I'm hearing kicking ass, taking names. Not that that's a horrible thing, but I think you know what I mean. But she does it in a very brutal way. Very condescending, very very controlling, very manipulative, especially with the mind. Could very well be why the King of Cups was hesitating on taking action because he's stalling. Because he thinks when he comes forward and expresses all of this stuff to the Queen... That the Queen of Pentacles is going to turn into the Queen of Swords. Now I will say this. If the Queen of Pentacles turns into this Queen of Swords. The one with no heart. The one who can't forgive. That's not a true Queen of Pentacles. That's a distorted Queen of Pentacles. Because all of a sudden she gets triggered. And, and she loses her divinity. Because she can't forgive. And she can't, she can't let bygones be bygones. This is where the anger, bitterness, and resentment kick in. That's where staying in the past kicks in. This Queen of Swords, if somebody does her wrong, if she goes through a hardship or, or she gets screwed over, she, she, she keeps that in the back of her mind and it just causes her to become even more cold because she can't let it go. And she stays single. She continues to be a very bittered person. 
and no love can get to her heart, so she won't ever experience true love. That's the shadow side of her. She won't experience abundance in all forms. She won't experience true love, true romance. She won't experience what this King of Cups has for her because she's not receptive to it. She has no freaking heart. He has all the heart in the world. If, if this Queen of, of Pentacles turns out to be this, she's never going to experience the love from this person, period. It's not an energetic match at all, okay? But this King of Cups knows intuitively that she is not going to turn out to be like this. Because there was a, uh, a situation before where the Queen of Pentacles, she was being assertive instead of being aggressive. That People get confused with that. When people want the truth and they're being blunt, but they're coming from a place of love, that's not aggression. That's not chopping people's heads off. When you get all belligerent and you start wielding that sword and it's like you want to fight all the time and you want to one-up everybody... That's dark energy. That's a distorted Queen of Swords. But apparently this Queen of Pentacles, she turned into Queen of Swords one day because she doesn't tolerate bullshit. And she says, if you can't come to me with the truth, then I'm just going to go my own way and I'm going to do my own thing. It's not that I don't love you. I got to be in my power and I have to not deal with what I don't want to deal with. I got to follow my happiness. I got to do what's right for me. That's the power of the Queen of Swords. She has every right to not tolerate bullshit and she has every right to not deal with people who cannot be honest with her because she holds the highest integrity here. And she expects that from people. If people cannot be their true authentic selves, she doesn't want anything to do with them. It doesn't mean that she's going to like chop their heads off. It's just going to mean she's like, you know what? I, I'm not dealing with that because that's dark. That's negative energy. You're not being your divine self if you're being your inauthentic self. And she is a divine being here. She just knows when not to tolerate shit. And she goes her own way. But she has head-heart balance. The upright of her, the, the positive side of her, she does have a heart. She's a human being. But when she's not getting the truth from someone, okay. Because without truth. So one of my clients told me this. Truth without love is hypocrisy. Because truth is love, right? Those are divine states of being. And she knows this. So apparently this King of Cups confused when the Queen of Swords told him off in a way, but she told him off in a loving way. It said, I just want the truth here. That's all I want. As long as we have the truth, we'll be okay. And she has every right to say that. But some, there's some, the, the King of Cups thought that she was being aggressive and she was being a bitch, that she was being crazy. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Be careful, people. When people are being stern and they will tell you the cold, hard truth, that means they really care about you because the truth is love it's of god god wants us to be in truth all the time that's divinity right there if people can't tell you the truth and if you can't tell your truth you can't be in your own integrity you need to work on that because you're not being your true divine self and you're not loving yourself either when you don't do that so it looks like this king of of, of cups was realizing he was stalling because he, th or he's still stalling because he thinks she's going to chop the head off. Yet he knows deep down inside, he has to trust his gut. He knows that she's a true queen of pentacles and she has this within her when it has to come out. But she still loves. She is just being assertive and standing in her integrity She's being her authentic self. And when she doesn't tolerate bullshit, she won't tolerate bullshit. So that's what the King of Cups has to get over here. If the King of Cups has not gotten over that already. And remember, Aries, that could be you. Take it how it resonates. 
So once this King of Cups takes action and he takes the risk, and especially if he wants to go move towards her or like show up at her house or just visit her or whatever this is, that cycle is going to end. He's not going to have to miss her anymore. He's not going to have to love her from afar anymore. He will get to have a beautiful new world with the Queen of Pentacles. And he will feel so relieved when he expresses his emotions to her. And he stops being in his head. He stops worrying about it. About what might happen. Because he knows deep down inside she is not a cold hearted person. And he knows that when he returns to her. That she is her true divine self and she's not going to be wielding that sword. Could be even dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. All right. Or fire. We have all the elements, so what is the guidance for Aries? Protection. Keep some aquamarine close. Mermaids' tears have been known to create these precious gems. You are protected, okay? Oh, thank you, Spirit. Let's rewind a little bit. Not only was the King of Cups thinking that the Queen of Pentacles might turn into this when he knows she won't, what's been causing delays also... It could be both stories, guys. Take, how, take it how it resonates. This is stemming from Aquarius's reading. What's been causing delays, which is why God is, is ending this bullshit, is that the King of Cups has been dealing with bullshit from somebody else who is a cold-hearted bitch, who is manipulative, who, who thinks for herself. She, she's very calculating, very cunning incredibly controlling but also mentally and verbally abusive she wants it done her way she wants things done her way and she only goes by her rules it's like whatever i say goes right plans no you have to follow my plans you're not going to follow your plans this is a very difficult person okay so it looks like this king of cups was getting into an altercation there was a stalemate. There was a fight here between the King of Cups and this, this, this shadow side of her. Could very well be an ex-spouse or an ex. I'm getting an ex-wife for somebody. All right? An ex-wife who is an air sign. Could be a Gemini. But um, this, is, this is a very distorted person. Because this person has a lot of trauma too and needs to heal a lot. But this person hasn't done that. There has been a delay. And this cycle ending here. This chapter ending with this person. Because this queen of swords doesn't want to budge. She's been realizing that she's losing control of the king of cups. Because she was also manipulating this poor guy emotionally. This is a very vindictive person. And she doesn't like it when things don't go her way. She doesn't like it when people follow, don't follow her rules or go according to what she says or what she plans. And when she doesn't get her way, she says things in such a way that she manipulates people. She's very intelligent, very good with words, but she's so smart. It's kind of like mind fuckery. Okay, that's what I'm getting. She knows the right thing to say to get what she wants. And she knows how to cut like a knife so that someone, she's been very mentally abusive to this King of Cups is what I'm hearing. It's, it's coming from Aquarius' reading again. So there's something between the Aquarius reading and the Aries reading, guys. Um, but yeah, there has been a delay. There's a lesson here is that this King of Cups realized he could not be afraid of this person anymore, this ex-wife ex-spouse, whoever it is, but I'm getting strong energy of an ex-wife. He's like, I cannot have you control me anymore. This is ridiculous. Again, this two of swords, this never ending battle here. Being afraid to make the decision because afraid of what she was going to say, that's bullshit. 
either this king of cups is still dealing with this because he's still afraid of this person or what she would do but or it's because this king of cups is finally having the courage and confidence to end this but it looks like god ended it already <laughs> there goes the king of cups see he's on his way because of that god came in he's like this has to stop so apparently god came in because she was like she was relentless relentless and god said the hell with this i'm ending this bullshit that could very well what was causing delays with this king of cups coming towards the queen of pentacles that's what i'm also hearing protection Maybe the King of Cups is trying to get protection from the Queen of Swords. Maybe there is literally a restraining order. Okay? I just heard that. Against this ex, whoever this is. Could even be a mother. Okay? Could even be somebody's mom. But I'm hearing that you are protected. Everyone here is protected. But I'm also getting for the first time ever. I've never heard this before. Um, something about a restraining order from this, this very dark queen of swords. Okay. Very dark. Or something with the courts witness protection program. That's what I just heard too. Okay. Opportunity. You will prove yourself and discover if you brave the rough seas. There you go. Brave, bold, courageous. That's all you need. That is all you need because you are going to be protected. If you think that this ex is going to come after you because you want this life, you want to marry, you want to move in with this queen of pentacles. If this is a God ordained connection, which I'm getting strongly it is because there is divine intervention here. When God doesn't like shit, he will come in and interfere. All right. Because the bond between the king of pentacles and the queen of, Pen I'm sorry, the king of cups and the queen of pentacles it is a God-ordained connection, all right? So don't worry about taking action and moving towards the Queen of Pentacles because you're going to be protected from this dark person, okay? That's why protection is here. Or you've already asked for protection, like I said, witness protection program, the restraining order, whatever, okay, from this ex. But know that you're being protected. So if you're still stalling, there's no need to stall anymore, there's no more delays because God, again, divine intervention and protection. God's protecting this connection between the King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles here. So, again, with that opportunity, you'll prove yourself and discover if you brave the rough seas. God's giving you this opportunity. You are going to be protected. There's no need to stall or be afraid of taking action because of this person at all. All right? And there's something about somebody may want to move or travel, move somewhere. But it's like somebody's mother or some ex or somebody's kind of keeping them from doing it. Nope, you're protected. All right. Don't worry about this. Whatever it is that you need to do, be bold and be brave and just take action. Whatever this is, Aries, just do it. That's your energy. That's your innate nature. Okay. To just do it. You got this strong Mar Mars rules you warrior-like energy i say he's ready for battle he's ready to take on the world all right pisces got that title you're ready to take on the world aries there is a whole new world waiting for you this is your opportunity be brave and just jump in and do it there's no reason to fear this person this person is not going to affect what God has destined for you, period, all right? Do not think that she or whoever that person is is going to, to ruin it for you because God is not going to have it. Oh my gosh, what is going on? Because I got this energy in the Aquarius reading and now the Aries reading. It looks like there's been like third party stuff with this Queen of Swords energy. People preventing uh, unions from happening. Like the devil is like really getting to whoever this is. Oh man, that is serious stuff. All right, what wellness message do we have for Aries? 
Do, do not let this person get the best of you, Aries. You're protected, okay? God's protecting you for sure. Continue to ask God for protection. Once you ask God for protection, you get it. Look, Red Jasper, take action. See, that's why I was putting emphasis on that guy right there on the Knight of Wands. Jade, be the bigger person. All right, Red Jasper. Check that box. If your to-do list keeps growing or you're losing motivation, shift gears and put the pedal to the metal. You are in the driver's seat. Motivate yourself to take action and cross even the most tedious tasks off your to-do list. Getting started is half the battle, but it's equally important to be dedicated and finish what you start so you have a sense of accomplishment at the end of the day. Set realistic goals for yourself to stay on track and avoid delays. One by one, each task will get done. See? There's no need to delay anymore. All right? You know what you need to do. How would it feel to accomplish the things you have been procrastinating? What is the first step toward completion of one of these tasks? Being able to complete things. Just get it done, Aries. The affirmation is, I can do it. Today, complete one thing you've been putting off. You've been putting off going after this Queen of Pentacles for the long time. Whatever this is, guys, it doesn't have to be a literal person who's the Queen of Pentacles. I said this because I got a huge story out of what I was channeling. Um, <clears throat> it could just you be, if you want to travel, know your worth and just like you have the ability to do whatever it is that you want. Okay. Not everything's going to resonate with everybody here. Take the high road. You have the power to choose how to interact with the people in your life. You can either lift each other up or drag each other down. You can be small and give your power away, or you can be the bigger person and stand strong in your conviction. See, with the eight of swords, you need to take your power back. To elevate your spiritual maturity, be mindful. Respond instead of react. Don't take things personally. Listen without getting defensive. Instead of letting conversations and encounters get to you, brush them off and maintain your composure. This is your power. Sometimes you say more by keeping silent and get farther by remaining still. Do you often take things personally and get defensive? Are you in control of your responses to others? How can you be more mature in your relationships? Your affirmation is, I show up as my most mature self. Today, take the high road in all situations. There you go, Aries. Stay positive. Speak your truth. So to light. See? This is also speaking your truth. No more excuses. Okay? No more excuses. It's time to speak your truth and to be honest and authentic with other people. All right. Let's see what's going on with love and relationships. What is going on with love and relationships for Aries? Spirit guides, angels, galactic family, playing and Syrians, please and thank you. Thank you for your wisdom, your guidance, your support, and your clarity. Atlantis. Oh, this is one of my favorite cards. Rapid development, excellence, and success. Falling in love. Kissing the divine in another in yourself. This is like the two of cups for me. This is kind of like Empress energy for me too. Bottom of the deck is the Selkie and her skin. Reclaiming your authenticity. What did I say about being your authentic self? You see? You see? Look, 1920. Making forward progress. I said you, there will be progress made if you just take action, Aries. Oh, I turned right to number 20. But let's read 19 first. So much is changing so quickly. Humans are awakening the planet at the point of having a time that is at once peaceful and exciting, dynamic and comforting. It can be a time of greatness in your life, but you will need courage. And the desire for power over must be shifted to the power too. The more you know you are connected to the divine, that you are the divine itself, the more you will behave in ways that are divine. When you lose that connection and that belief, when you view yourselves as merely impermanent, meaningless players on a stage, temporary witnesses, then the golden time can vanish. Keep the vision alive. It is time to strike the balance between selflessness and the actualized self 
who is operating out of love, not hubris. A feeling of connection to crystals, to sea crystals, sea creatures, to being able to heal and work with people telepathically. An urgent desire to do something more meaningful with your life, past life memories as an Atlantean or even a dolphin, dugong or other sea creatures surfacing. Learning to swim, dive, mermaid, scuba dive, and a desire to be beneath the waves. Connection to ancient sacred sites, feelings of bliss, connection of higher powers and abilities returning to you. A sense of being at one with angels, animals, wizards, and all. A wonderful variety of beings in your life who have so much in common with you. Greater powers of communication, less fear, and feeling you have great abilities and fearlessly exploring them, perhaps for the first time. Not being so concerned with making a mistake. A sharpening of abilities, an appreciation of science, the desire to experiment and develop abilities, the astonishment of seeing how quickly you can advance. Flow, high vibrations, sophistication, logic, and brilliance are heightened. Not being so concerned with making a mistake. That stood out to me right there. This is going to be a success. When you take action, it's going to be a success. I think somebody here keeps getting that same message. Has been getting that message for a very long time. Uh, there may be no closer moment of connection, of utter mirroring with the divine than the experience we have called falling in love. It is so important we do this. We allow ourselves to be overwhelmed and we surrender to bliss, but also to the possibility of pain, of betrayal, of disappointment and disillusionment. Therefore, we mermaids urge you to fall in love, but to allow yourself to be real, honest, vulnerable, and to move on if this love becomes painful, unfulfilling, or continually, or continually compromised. Falling in love is a divine miracle, truly, but there are stereotypes about how it looks, books with strange names like The Rules, and the ideal that gets attached to a person who has no idea what your hopes and dreams are. So, foolish as it may make you feel, do not be cool, be true to yourself. Fall in love with another and fall in love with your own honesty and vulnerability. Kiss the bliss, taste the nectar of love and share the ecstasy, but also experience the utter breakthrough and freedom of honesty. It may not all come at once, but little by little, let falling in love teach you the lessons that as you recognize the divine in another, so too must they recognize the divine within you. What did I say? I was talking about seeing the divinity in people. It must be mutual and it must be a boon, not an instrument of torture or manipulation. Bless you people, beautiful people for having this ability. Now go forth and fall in love with one another, each other, the planet, the animals, the beings, the elementals, the ocean and yourselves. And nature will then be at peace and well and blossoming once again. Feeling powerful feelings of attraction for another and becoming overwhelmed with feelings of tenderness, almost to the point of feeling more for the other being than for food, drink, and breathing. That's that energy of that King of Cups and he fell off my altar. I forgot. Feeling powerfully attached to another, seeing the divine within them and experiencing the divine within yourself is extremely addictive. The beginning of a powerful relationship which truly has magic within it, the recognition of soul within another, yet it is also wise to know thyself well and to be able to read your own patterns. Seeking to communicate and to establish a close bond with another. Feeling very akin to them, a dissolving of boundaries of self into a kind of one. A time of sweetness and security, beauty, excitement, newness, and uncertainty. Perhaps a time when you were almost certainly very much alive and very much at the end of ordinary life and approaching what we often call insanity. The space before knowledge when the idealization of the other is at its height. This card can also signal a desire for sex that is sacred, deeply connective, soul forging, and powerfully erotic. Love making that is exquisitely spiritual and central. That's King of Cups, Queen of Pentacles energy. So let's see, that's Two of Cups right there. See, seeking to communicate and to establish a close bond with another. That's what this King of Cups is really seeking. So with the bottom of the deck here, this is a message from the most wise and kind of mermaids that you that you who are now reading this must return to the form in which you are free. Okay. 
The Selkies is the story for all of us who have forgotten our strength, our freedom, our right to choose again, and again, our delight in life. This story speaks very deeply of the divine feminine and the innate need for women to be free in choosing who to be with, to be free even in raising their children, to have sisters to dance with, and to worship beneath the moon. It speaks of the crime of seeking to possess and to capture anything that is free and of keeping us from the element of water, from our womb sanctity, from our emotional watery selves to keep us on land rather than in the flow. See? The right to choose. If this card comes to you, it is time to dance, to be free, and to join with groups of women who wish to simply be free to dance under the moonlight, free of dogma and even of political correctness. A time without children, without relationships, and without other couples around you. The joys of being single or of being free. A time to leave family and partners for a while to claim your sea skin back. Choose safe environments. Do not trust people who come to you at this time and want to take care of you. This may be code for wishing to capture you. Go to a place where you are among your own gender, where you can be nurtured by contact with your own kind. Find a sacred place to visit and commit to a regular timeout in that safe haven. It is now time for you to support and encourage the freedom of other humans and creatures. When we do this, our own freedom becomes more natural to us. Make a donation for seal conservation. Do not support practices or companies that benefit from seal hunts that still take place. Visit the lands of Selkie lore and legend, the Orkney Isles in the far north of Scotland, Iceland and the Scandinavias, Northern Ireland and her cold seas. Or travel in visions, past life memories and dreams and set your Selkie self free so what i'm getting from this is maybe there's somebody here who now take it how it resonates enjoying being single but maybe somebody here thought that being single was it for them and they're now realizing that it's not that's why i'm getting with the energy of the king of cups the energy of the king of cups was happy he's a king he's ruling his kingdom and everything he has what he wants or something like that, but he's still missing the queen of pentacles, right? Apparently being single and free was good for a time, but again, with the five of pentacles energy, five of uh, cups energy, we saw the king is missing, the queen, okay? Now, don't get hung up on, do not trust people who come to you at this time and want to take care of you. Use discernment with that. That could be the queen of swords, Oh, I'm coming to see you to take care of you, whatever. But she's got something up her sleeve. Use discernment. Trust your intuition, guys. This could even be the ex-spouse who was being manipulative. Oh, you know what? I, you're very sensitive. I'll take care of you. And then she kind of backstabbed you or something or she screwed you over. Um, but this could also mean that you might have not been trusting the Queen of Pentacles, who's a true Queen of Pentacles, thinking that she was going to turn into this and was going to capture you. Again, the energy of that hanged man with the, the mermaid being in the net that I read for the Aquarius reading. Okay? If you know, your intuition knows that that queen of pentacles is not that you trust in that. Go by how you feel. I said that king of cups can feel the warmth from that queen of pentacles. You won't feel that from a person who's like this inside. Okay? Okay? Oh my gosh, what a reading. Okay, Aries, I hope that helped you. <laughs> that was something. Um, if you would like to book a personal reading with me or sign up for my 14-day free trial for one of my memberships to get exclusive content to my awesome other stuff that helps supplement these readings, to be entered to get a free reading from me every month and all this other fun stuff. I'm having, I'm having uh, members-only lives now. For those who are members, go ahead and try it out. You have nothing to lose. Check the description box below for the link to the membership section or go to capellawellness.com to check out my memberships or anything, any other of my services. If you have any questions about anything, please let me know. All right, Aries, that concludes your reading. Thank you so very much for watching this video, for subscribing to this channel, and for illuminating that thumbs up button. I would greatly appreciate it. I wish you the best today. Always, I send you so, so much love. And I hope I illuminated your well-being today. Again, this is Jess from Capella Wellness. Starry Hill. Yeah.